Max Geiger is a watchmaker, scientist, and logical thinker. His particular interest lies in the study of time and whether it can be altered or even controlled. Geiger is a zoning character who can control the pace of a match. He's also Fantasy Strike's version of a charge character. Whenever Geiger holds forward, he loses his charge, meaning his gear meter instantly empties. It fills very quickly as long as you either hold back or simply stand in neutral. He can't do either of his two ground special moves or his air C unless he's fully charged up. So in other words, he cannot walk forward and use those moves right away. Because his three gear meter moves have this inherent drawback, they're very good in other ways. His first ground special move is Time Spiral. This projectile gear has an unusually short recovery time. And you can hold the B button down to do a delayed version where Geiger sends the Time Spiral slightly into the future. By delaying your projectile, it lets you fully recover by the time it travels across the screen, so you can follow it and threaten combos or block strings. Geiger's other ground special is Flash Gear with the C button. This is an invulnerable attack, and it's one of the best reversals in the game that doesn't cost super meter. He can use it to hit jumpers or simply blow through attacks on the ground. Only the start of it is invulnerable, so try to do it late against jumpers. Your gear recovers quickly enough that you can sometimes throw a time spiral, then flash gear the opponent as they jump over it. Geiger's ground normal moves all have very different purposes. His forward plus A backhand is a long range, fast poke that can potentially combo after a time spiral. In order to do this move, you have to hold forward though, which means you'll lose your gear charge. That can be worth it because his backhand is that good of a poke. His neutral A punch has short range, but it can cancel to specials. That lets him combo to either time spiral or flash gear. But remember to keep holding neutral or back or you'll lose your gear charge. His back plus A step kick allows him to travel forward without actually holding forward, so he can advance a little bit while keeping his gear charge. This move has slow startup, but it's extremely safe on block, allowing him to do pressure strings of several moves. If you hit with a step kick, you can combo to flash gear. And if you counter hit with it, that is, if you hit the opponent out of the startup of their move, you can actually combo into neutral punch and then into flash gear. Geiger's jump A is a long horizontal kick, which is good for hitting air to air and also for jumping in to do combos. His air B is phase out, a move that briefly stops time for himself, but not for anyone else. During this brief time, he's completely invulnerable. He can use it to avoid enemy moves, even enemy supers, and to mix up his timing and his jump arc to confuse the opponent. And Geiger can still attack after a phase out on the way down. His air C is a drop gear, a diagonally downward kick. Like any special move, it triggers block damage. You can use it to start pressure strings that threaten even more block damage. You can use it to cross up if you're close. On hit, you can combo off of it. You can't jump forward and use drop gear because it requires you to have full gear meter. This means it's important to consider your spacing so that you can work in a jump straight up C at opportune times. A nice trick is that you can jump forward and phase out, which takes long enough that your gear meter fills up while you're still in the air. Then, drop gear before you land. This lets you threaten some offense while still keeping your options open. Your opponent doesn't know if you'll do air C after the phase out, or kick with A, or simply fall straight to the ground. Geiger's time stop super allows him to casually stroll forward while time is stopped. He doesn't attack during the super, and he always walks forward the same fixed distance. While that might sound useless at first glance, it's actually one of the best supers in the game. Think of it as a teleport. If a time spiral hits, or is about to hit, he can time stop to combo for 3 damage. If the opponent does a move from a certain distance away, he can time stop to combo for 2 damage. If they do a move from a different distance, he can still time stop for 1 damage. Geiger also controls the far upper part of the screen, which is exactly where Jaina wants to be. If she jumps to shoot an arrow, he can time stop and then flash gear her, guaranteed. If the opponent simply blocks, he can throw a time spiral, then time stop to get behind them, and then jump C into a special to deal a full point of block damage. He can also time stop to simply escape a sticky situation. His air super, Cycloid Revolution, summons a big ball of gears that tracks the opponent. It takes up so much space that it makes it hard for the opponent to move around while it's out. And as they block and wait for it to go away, it gives Geiger plenty of time to grind them down with gears. Geiger can play a standard keep away game with projectiles, backhand pokes, and anti-air, but he can also do lockdown sequences and go on the offense if needed. 
His versatile time stop super gives him a ton of options on offense and defense as well. And as any watchmaker will tell you, it's time to play Geiger.